Good morning to everyone joining me on the Open Day Profits with MTT. Welcome. I'm just giving it everyone one more minute to get into the room. We're about to start. And boy, what a run we've had in cryptos the last month. Bitcoin up 41%. You can see on the crypto bubbles. Okay, so welcome everyone. I'm Ines here from MTT. I do all the swing trading analysis at Bitcoin Trend and Forecast. I've been actively trading since about 2010, trading on the stock markets. And then from about 2017, 18, shifted my focus towards cryptos. And then in approximately 2020, December, I started with Bitcoin Trend and Forecast full time. So that's been going really, really well. And we've got people from around the world, and it is amazing seeing the people taking action, wanting to participate in this run that we've seen lately, and that they know the only way to true wealth, if you are patient and diligent, because sometimes you get a downturn in the market, people get frustrated, they pull out and they they forget about it and then all of a sudden these market makers since january just shoots this market up and leaves everyone behind so there's still a lot of people doubting this run and we're going to look at a chart on bitcoin where i do think we are at a crucial important pivotal point in the in the run up that we've seen in this last month and yeah, so let's let's get there. But look at this, what I want to show you. I shared this on our group. The percentages that Ethereum or the top altcoins has done since they launched. So Ethereum, 4,966x. It's a 15,000 return on investment to the all-time high. BNB, 4.5,000%. You won't get this anywhere else in the world or any other asset class that's going to outperform cryptos within this next run that we are going to see. This is only the start of the new bull phase within the halvening cycle that we've been analyzing. And the halvening only starts next year in 2024. So we are still early. These are the guys that we are going to say, or previously when we said in 2017 or 16, the people that bought there, they got lucky. You are now at the brink of the next generation where people in a few years are going to say they got lucky. No, you weren't lucky. You were at the right place at the right time with the right company and support. You cannot trade alone in these markets. You need a company that is going to show you where you need to trade, where you need to take profits, and where you need to enter or exit the markets to be in front of the trend or left behind at the top when it was in November 2021, caught around the top cycles and buying the top and holding on for dear life. We were trading and analyzing this throughout and since last year, November, when Marius brought out his mastery pattern, whoever joins in our MTT community can go back to the November, go back to the December videos and go and see when we said the bottom of the market is about to turn. So for those that's new at within this webinar, Bitcoin Trend and Forecast started in 2016. Marius and Wendy only had the, or Marius had the long-term uh, trend, uh, Bitcoin trend and forecast algorithm that he brought out with his long-term trade reports. And since then, it really evolved in many more products. Hot or not, there's Inner Circle, private group from Marius. We launched the BTEF token, many other projects and, and analysis uh, focus groups to really give all the people around the world the specific 
need for what they want to solve. Are you a scalper? Are you a day trader? Are you swing trading? That's where my focus is. I like to take a position and ride it out for a wave. And these cycles that we see playing out currently is where we really cream it to the top and we scalp every single profit out of it uh, to make sure that you are focused, you know where your take profit areas are, and you can get out and we are looking to evaluate re-entry targets. We're seeing some sort of a topish formation currently in the cryptos, but we'll get into that. So 2022, MTT rebranded from small cap gains, and now we're heading into the new year. There's still a lot of extra uh, products that I myself are working on to just to bring extra value to our communities. I created this FIP Circle course, and there's going to be a FIP Circle report coming out as well, which is going to show you a little bit of a larger viewpoint where you can find those entries and longer term exit points. So I want to show you quickly for those that are new this. We are medium term crypto trade reports. And we say this is all you need to skyrocket your crypto portfolio. So part of the team here is myself and Marius. I believe Marius can't make it at the moment, but we'll get him back uh, within the next open day, which will probably be in February. So keep a look out for that and bring your friends and family along. You don't need to participate in cryptos alone bring as many people in with our group because as you become a member there's an affiliate program as well you can participate or you don't need to but you can also make an income there's a lot of throughout the last two years a lot of people that lost their jobs and this is a way how you can build become part of the leadership group of Bitcoin TAF, and you can build yourself a residual income from all those members that join under you. If you want more info, contact us. Uh, there's a help center, anyone that wants more information about it, but just sign up, share your link, and get your friends and families involved, and you can build your own business within Bitcoin TAF as well. It's a really amazing platform that they've been working on for the last few years. So when we go to our analysis is we do swing trading. It's someone that probably don't want to sit in front of their computer and scalping on a small time frame in and out or a day trader. You don't want to analyze the market all the time. It takes a period of seven to 45 days for these cycles to play out. Sometimes they're faster, sometimes they're a little bit slower, but we predict the entries way in advance for the people to benefit for maximum gains and to grow your portfolio. So the solution that we provide is everything in the crypto market is driven by narratives and the NFTs, gaming, DAOs, metaverse, cross-chain interoperability, and then also AI is becoming one of the hot narratives that's going to outperform within this next cycle. So you need to be in the right coins and to make those specific profits. But the coins that's going to outperform, that's really where you want to get uh, into, where I will show you a few examples today. So in our crypto report, you get a weekly report. I'm actually going to write the new report for this week where I see the market goes next. And you've got a, your Telegram channel as well, where we update you on take profits or new entry levels or specific coins that is going to run next. Sometimes there's just so many hot coins that you don't always get them all in the report, but you can uh, just quickly shoot them into the Telegram channel and you can make your own decision with your own analysis to see if you want to enter or exit this trade. So these are a few examples and I'm going to go through the live charts now as well, where we see these tokens go. So Ocean, 153%, you can see these were given in December already, before this whole run started. That's where people were a little bit more in disbelief. It go through these market cycles where it's disbelief and it's anger, it's frustration, and you just don't, you, you give up. And this is the time to focus and really 
get involved. Get involved. If you want to be successful in trading, you need to pay attention. And like I said, be become part of a community. Koti was one, uh, buy zone given, really rocket up straight line. If you didn't get into the specific buy zone entries, it didn't pull back far enough to give a proper re-entry. So you need to take those positions and put your stop loss in place and the risk to reward will pay off at the end of the day. CRV was another one. AXS truly exploded. And then QNT, one of my favorite coins, part of the ISO 222 coins as well. That is going to be in the next two, two and a half years, a very, very key coin that's going to become part of the government uh, and payments. And there's a few coins that we track and check where mass adoption is going to take place. This is the time really in the next few years because there isn't really mass adoption just yet. These projects are new. The technology is new in blockchain. But once they get traction and more people and governance and lawmakers bring in specific fund managers will also become involved to really buy and bring more liquidity uh, uh, to this market. Bitcoin is really, if you look at a fraction of the S&P or the uh, Forex markets, we're really a small, tiny market uh, in the bigger scheme of things. So this can still really explode. The gains we've seen now is still early for what we see to come through the cycle. Don't just think in the next month, if you become a member, now you're going to turn it into the next thousand percent gem. It takes a period where you build structures in the market. You find patterns, there's cycles that's going to play out. If the market takes a downturn now, for example, for the next three weeks, everyone's going to say, oh, now we're going back to 5,000 or 10,000 or 12,000. This is the biggest bull trap. But maybe, yes, maybe it is. But we are going to still trade it. If you're still a perma bear, you were trapped and missed out on all this uh, upside. So where do you want to be? You need to trade with the trend and find those entries to really be successful in trading. So, and another one that I want to show you, and we'll get to one of those charts, is education is really vital in developing your character, developing yourself as a trader. And I created this FIB Circle course that you can find on the product page as well. Let's just quickly go there. Under products, education, you can go and find the FIP Circle course. Go have a look at the intro. You go here to the product page and education. Let's just quickly see their courses. Courses, there we go. And under the courses, you'll find the FIP Circle course. There I teach you specific basic trend line analysis, how it could have helped you from the start of 2012, finding future pivotal points, using FIP circles to know where specific drops can take place, FIP channels, all of these and some mental psychology lessons in there that can help you to become a better trader. Go and have a look there, introduction and start trading with us. There's seven lessons at the moment. I'm working on more. And this is all really to help our community to evolve, to become better and trade with us to become financial independent and financially free over this coming period. So if we look at quickly the last one, okay, now this one I'll touch on the live chart. So, and also on MTT, we can touch on this now. If you go to products and you find MTT, for everyone, only for today, by the end of tomorrow, Thursday, the 31st, everyone that takes a six months or 12 month access to their membership or extended because you want to trade for a period. If you're really serious in trading, you want to be there and be involved for a period of time with us. So everyone, that, anyone that takes these options will get a one month access uh, uh, free to their subscription as well. 
where we want to reward you to be evolved and be with us through this journey that we're going, going into. So let's look a little bit of where we are in the cycle. So if you look at GMX on the dashboard, you can see the longs at the moment are really overpowering the short positions. And previously, when we were at $16,500, this was totally reversed. The shorts were about $180 uh, million, and the longs were about $50 million. And that, that indicated a strong possibility with other tools that we use to see that there may be a short squeeze. So we've got the algorithm data from Marius. We've got many indicators that I use on my Bitcoin chart. And these are just a few of them. This is my main Bitcoin analysis. And I use time cycles as well. So around this area was a whole range of support and the buy zone that we had for our members. Specifically, I was starting to take positions from 16.2 towards 16.5, and when we broke this level, said that's also a safer re-entry, and we literally just shot up 41%, exactly as you can see here on the crypto bubbles, that we're trading 40.6% at the moment. But let's just quickly have a look here, because one of the other indicators that we need to take in account is the fear and greed index. Now, where is this currently? 61. Look at that. Last month, 25. So we are really getting into a position where people are getting a little bit greedy. And can it last? Cryptos, yes, it can always just continue higher. But the market makers ain't going to play it that way. They are going to bring volatility to the market. And this week is a very, very big news event more data coming out from the FOMC, and we're going to monitor that very closely. So if you look at some of our Bitcoin analysis, we've got these pivots, and the pivot dates indicated around those times were low levels of probabilities to get into cryptos, and the next date for me is now the 1st of February, Wednesday. So we're starting to reverse currently. We are very overbought. On some of the indicators, we're already getting some sell signals, but there's still strength in the market. It's not slowing down just yet or collapsing like we've seen in the past. All of a sudden, you get a week like this when we have FTX collapse, and that whole collapse have been engulfed by this run to the upside. Consolidated, liquidity zone, next re-entry, and we shot up higher. Now, this is the area where we have to pay close attention. If we pull back from here, there's a big possibility that Bitcoin can come and retest this zone. There's also a few lower levels with some CME gaps at around $20,000. And the pullback for, towards those levels for me will be very normal within this leg one that we've had. You need to take a little bit of a breather to build up the momentum for where we can go next. Now, I'll show you one of the targets where I do see us to go. When you join us, I'll, I'll continuously go through the Wyckoff method, where we are in the cycle, phase A, B, C, and where I see upper targets. So if you look at this $25,219 level, that comes exactly to a week that we've had there in the past. Now, why that is so important is also if you look at the 200 week moving average is it comes exactly to that pivotal point. Look at that. That blue line is the 200 exponential and the 200 moving average. That area for a lot of people is going to be very crucial. And there's institutions that haven't even started to get involved. They want to see confirmation and will only start to buy with a break above these levels. So you are still in the early phase where you can get into the market at $25,000. The next possibility is $28,32. So look at those upsides. If you look at what Bitcoin has done with a 40% rally within this last month, and you've seen what specific altcoins have done, 
Can you imagine what we what's going to happen if Bitcoin goes to 28 or 32? So if you miss the first part of this run, it's okay. There will always, always be new opportunities within this market. Now, I want to show you this chart, which I believe is the FIP circle one. Let's just quickly see. Yeah. So this is on a macro scale where Bitcoin may trade as support and resistance levels. Now, if we zoom in slightly on this red FIP circle, we can see we found resistance around those areas, came through the 1618 was support, came back, and I adjusted this slightly. I played around with it this morning to see why is that point there coming into resistance. And I found that the 2C, no, the 1618 is a specific resistance. If we break through this ring, it will be a big probability that we're going to push up towards that $25,000 next. And we've got these levels to the upside and intersecting points where you can have your next pivotal areas and also draw your new FIP circles from. That's all being taught in those lessons. So I see a current reversal and just a basic trend. Look at that massive trend to the upside. If we break that possible sideways and a drop down, I do see us coming to retest some of these lower levels in this FERP circle, if that breaks, we're going to this outer uh, macro scale FERP circle. And then I'll start play around with it. You can go literally to an hour chart and go and draw more FERP circles from these trend lines or from FERP channels. So very important, very vital information. How you can become a better trader. Now look at these charts. I'm going to quickly update them all that they refresh. These were, those were screenshots from the presentation and these were now the live trades. So the Ocean Protocol came exactly to our T3 target, currently reversing, looking for a potential re-entry around there. If we find support at T2, that can be moved up. I look at the Ichimoku cloud as well. Very bullish structure at the moment. Now the lagging span is going into price. If that breaks through, then we're going to start to trend lower. And that may really go in for a little bit longer. I'm not going to give the dates here just yet. And for those that's going to join, we'll know more or less. And I'll share it on our Wednesday webinar again, where I see us come down. There's still a few structures that need to break in Bitcoin before this confirmation is confirmed that we see a dip lower but i'm going i'm keeping a close eye every day on this axs also really exploded told the members there was a week and then a re-entry and then shot up to t605 percent you cannot outperform cryptos if you were in stable coins last year and you didn't do too much or few trades here and there but all of a sudden, in a month, you can double your portfolio instantly. This was comp, quick breakout, consolidation pattern, currently retesting. If that test holds, we're going to go up towards the fifth leg within the symmetrical triangle consolidation area. Now, it could be a quick spike. And these levels are still in a downtrend for comp. Comp hasn't even started a new cycle just yet and there are many many more coins like that enj 100 percent from the buy zone levels wicked up to our t5 target and currently coming down key resistance or now turning it was previously resistance now turning in, into support but it could very well come down into some of these lower level supports before we continue higher qnt one of the top trades that I said, re-entry level coming a little bit closer. If that breaks stop loss, I won't just blindly go in and say, yes, I'm going to re-enter. There's going to be specific conditions depending on what Bitcoin does, depending on what Ethereum does. So it's not just that I'm going to blindly buy a specific re-entry. 
that takes time and focus to know when to really take those positions. Koti was another one, not going to go through, but that wicked up much higher towards 111% CRV as well. Now, I wanted to bring you this coin for the day that you guys can go and trade it as well, but it shot up through the buy zone already. You can see over the last 18 hours, it was in the buy zone, wicked up, came really close to our T3 target. If this comes down for a retest, confirms that level as support, this can be another opportunity to re-enter. It's MENA. It's available on Binance. You can go and search for that as well and go and test. It, there's a lot of liquidity left at that week, and we may go and fill that out again. So uh, it didn't test for a breakout to get extra liquidity, and that can be another great play. Another one that I've got for you is Zen, Ryzen. So also underperforming so far, but those are the coins that we need to catch. What is the next run? But this is a quick 40% potential, still in a downwards daily trend. But if you go to a six hour, slightly changes, forming some sort of bullish structures, the 200 MA on the six hour also turning bullish. And this is the whole buy zone level. Can possibly come and retest the support, but you can be patient with this one. It can play around in this range until the 14th of Feb. And that is more or less where I see the bottom of this pullback can come in. And I've just given it away. So consolidation, potential downwards until the mid-Feb date. Now, I'm going to give you one of the top swing trades available within this next cycle as well. There's a few of them, but this is one that I'm going to share with you today. So it's in combination with FIB circles, Elliott wave, uh, uh, specific FIB retracements as well, and Ichimoku. So there's a C clamp currently forming at resistance at the moment. And if we come down, do not buy this yet. If we come down into this buy zone, potential low at around 40 cents. GMT, part of that project, Steppen, can go out and really get to the 0.618 level. 206% gain. So we're going to track this in our community. We are going to find re-entries and trade this to the upside. There's specific resistance and support levels for this coin as well on the FIP circles. You can see everywhere where it touches, resistance, resistance, finding resistance, current support. But if that breaks now as a confirmation, we can come down to this lower ring. You can see previously that was resistance and then turned into support. So that can be a really key support level in combination with that C clamp that's forming on the Ichimoku cloud. So that is really a few good trade setups that you can go and look at and analyze. Part of this report today that will be included in there. These were some of the results. This was updated a week or two weeks ago. 1,500% cumulatively over some of these coins that we followed. Some of them are actually higher, so the percentage would have been higher. So obviously, you're not going to be able to catch every single trade, but to at least have doubled or close to double your portfolio in the last month would have been very, very possible. And I know I've got feedback from some traders saying, thank you. I caught Algo, for example. I caught AXS. I sold into the week. Uh, the analysis was spot on. And we are at the brink of this, this cycle where we're going to go into the Wyckoff pattern and a few more algorithmic data patterns from Marius on his algorithm data. And both of those with MTT really, really work so, so well. So that's the end of what I wanted to share with you guys today. Thank you so much for today and joining in. That's really awesome having so many people attending. We will have another session like this next month. 
if we have a pullback in the market, there's going to be great new buying opportunities. You don't want to miss out. It's going to be really amazing and we will benefit from this. And even if we trade sideways, for example, no one knows if Bitcoin is going to go to all-time high this year. There's, that's impossible. People that shout for $100,000 next, you cannot trade like that. We trade what we see. So we see now current strong resistance at 25, 200,000 for Bitcoin. That is a key level. What if it gets rejected and we go back to 18 or $17,000? Then people put in their whole pension and everything in there. And now they're going, the market is going sideways for the rest of the year. For us, it doesn't matter. We're going to take profits. And if the market comes down to 18, I will smile because that's going to be the next phase where I'm going to analyze different coins or the same coins with new re-entries. And we're just going to repeat. So that's how it works. Seven to 45 day cycles, sometimes extends, sometimes it's faster, but we rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. And that's the way how you're going to be a profitable trader. Never put all your capital in one coin thinking that this is going to go a thousand X and it turns against you. You need to split your risk. And that's what I've seen from many, many traders that they go one shot wonders thinking the next ICO or IDO is going to be the next gem and either it just dies and it goes sideways for the next year and the capital is trapped or um, just nothing happens with the project. But in a rising tide, like I said, all boats goes up. So your trades may do well within the coming few months. Good trader always manages his risk and the risk to reward towards where you can see the potential of a specific trade. And you need to take constant wins to be successful in trading. You're probably not going to get 10 out of 10 the whole time. and But if you get 7 out of 10, that's good. Lock in your profits. A lot of people are sometimes scared to take profits. Remember, that's part of your strategy. Write down your who you are, how you are as a trader, and a rule book for yourself that you know what you need to stick by. And a rule, if, if you make 60% profit, get out. If your rule is 80%, get out. And then wait for the next opportunity because the next opportunity will always be around the corner. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in today and I'll catch you on the next webinar and otherwise for those that's going to become members the six months 12 months if I see the data coming through I'll send you a coupon code for additional months to add to your membership and we will see you then Wednesday on our live webinar thanks everyone keep well have a wonderful week bye